Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to RNG eggs in Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire. Uh, this information does not apply to Pokemon Emerald or Fire Red or Leaf Green. There's going to be separate videos for those games. Before we get started, I'll cover a few of the tools you'll need to have both in and out of your game. The first thing you need to get right is the game itself. Uh, the game's internal battery needs to be dead so that you always start from the same initial seed. You'll know that when this message plays here uh, before you load a save file. Uh, so for the Pokemon that you're going to need, uh, I would recommend having a Pokemon with Fly, and I also uh, you also need to have a Pokemon with Sweet Scent like this Oddish. Oddish is plentiful all over the daycare route, and it just comes knowing Sweet Scent, so that's typically who I recommend. Uh, and you're also going to need some items. Uh, I recommend having around 20 rare candies and uh, max repels. You need max repels because they have 250 steps. Uh, that is the very close to the amount of steps that an egg takes the hatch, and so we use it for counting. So don't use the other repels. Uh, and then last but not least, you're going to need some Pokeballs to catch the parents. Uh, I'm going to be using Master Balls I traded from my cloned Emerald. Uh, that's also how I got the rare candies, and I recommend doing that as well. Uh, and last but not least, in-game, you're going to need to know your trainer ID and your secret ID if you want a shiny. You can do this by either um, RNGing your trainer ID and secret ID. Uh, I have a video on how to do that. You could watch that if you want. Uh, or I have another video on how to figure out your secret ID if you already have a shiny. Uh, but if you don't care about shinies, you don't need to have these uh, values at all. So don't worry about them in that case. Uh, out of game, you're going to need... Uh, Poke Finder by Admiral Fish, uh, which is in the upper right-hand corner of my screen here. And you're going to need Eon Timer by Dylan Meadows, which is in the lower left-hand corner of my screen. Uh, once you've got everything that you need, we're going to start with Spread Selection. Uh, so in Poke Finder, we're going to go to the Gen 3 uh, tab here, and we're going to click Egg. Uh, and then in the Egg section, we're going to click the Ruby and Sapphire tab. Now, if you don't already have a profile set up, you're going to have to need to do that. So click this Manager button here. Uh, and then the Gen 3 Profile Manager will appear, and then click New. Uh, just name it something, like, you know, RS, and then whatever the game's name is, or like Ruby Jake. Uh, make sure the game selected is correct, and then if you know your trainer ID and secret ID, type them out here. If you don't, don't fill it out, and then check Dead Battery, and then hit OK, and then hit Done. Uh, now, I'm not going to use the profile we just made, but uh, I already have one made, which has my trainer ID and secret ID for me. Okay, so in this tab, there's lots of different filters and settings and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to start in the RNG info section. Seed for held and pickup. Uh, leave that at 5A0. It should always be 5A0. That is the initial seed that the game is forced to when the battery is dead. For held advances and pickup advances, this is basically how long you want to wait before receiving your egg. Uh, and the egg is generated in two steps in this game. It is generated... Uh, half of the egg is generated when you take your final step to see if the old man is holding the egg and the rest of the egg is generated when you receive it from the old man. So held advances is referring to when you take the step to get him to hold the egg and pick up is when you receive it from him. Minimum, I would leave it about a thousand. That's fine. The maximum is basically how long you're willing to wait. Uh, I would start with about 15,000. I wouldn't go higher than that. You can start going higher than that once you aren't able to find a spread or something like that and you need to search for more frames uh, so for method leave that at normal and compatibility we will come back to that later in the settings section i would also leave all of the parents ivs at 31 for now and then for the gender just make sure that it is compatible so have one male one female uh, also check the show inheritance box now for the filters this is where you decide what type of pokemon that you want and the parameters you're going to do and so the more strict you get, the less likely what you want to have appear will be here. Now, if you're going for a shiny, uh, it's going to be very strict. You're probably not going to be able to get all perfect Pokemon unless you RNG your trainer ID. So I'm going to cover how you would find out how to RNG for a specific uh, egg frame to be shiny after I fill out all my settings. So I'm going to be RNGing for a Grumpig, and I'm going to be doing uh, 31 in all stats except attack. I'm going to leave shiny unchecked. The ability, I want zero. Now, for ability, the way you figure this out is you can go on to Cerebi. So I'm on Grumpig's page on Cerebi here. Uh, if you can see, the abilities are listed in the order that they are. So uh, Thick Fat is ability zero, and Own Tempo is ability one. And I should note that you should be doing this from the Gen 4 page, because for some reason, 
on the Gen 3 page, it's not always correct. Uh, so, according to Cerebi, Thick Fat is ability 0, which is what I want. Gender, I don't care. Gender ratio, it's just what are the odds of it being a specific gender. Uh, Spoink is 50-50. Like I said, I'm going to leave Shiny unchecked for now. And Hidden Power, I don't care about. And Nature, I want Modest. Uh, keep in mind, Everstone doesn't work in this game yet. That's an Emerald feature, so you don't have the option to even use that. So once you've got everything filled out, we have to figure out one last thing, and that's compatibility. So compatibility is basically how much two Pokemon like each other. Uh, and you can check on Bulbapedia uh, how this works. Basically, it's based on the species of the Pokemon and the uh, original trainer name of the Pokemon. I don't have any Spoinks, and I'm going to catch both of them in this game. That means their species and original trainer are the same. Uh, so that means they're going to get along all right, which is good. So we're going to check that in the compatibility section here. Uh, so with the last parameter decided, we can hit generate. And as you can see, there are tons of modest grump pigs with five IVs. And I'm going to explain a little bit about how all of the information that you're seeing works. So if you notice the abilities uh, for stats and defense and special attack and stuff like that, they some of them don't have IVs. They have A and they have B. That means that the A is a stat that is generated from parent A and B is a stat generated from parent B. So the rest of the IVs are all coming from the game. So if you hit this frame every time the HP attack and special attack would all be what they are. They would always be 31, 28, and 31. But these stats, uh, defense, special defense, and speed, they're all going to be variable uh, for this frame based on the parents. And so that means if you wanted this frame for your 5 IV Grump Pig, then you would only need to have a first parent have maximum defense, and the second parent that you put into the daycare have maximum special defense and speed. That's all you need. Uh, so it's really actually easy to get a 6 IV Pokemon or a 5 IV Pokemon with parents that don't really have uh, too many good stats. So, uh, how would you make one of these shiny? Well, basically what you would do is you would find any PID here. Uh, so let's say I want this one to be shiny. You would hit Control C here uh, and it would copy that to your clipboard. And then you go to the main window in Pokefinder again. And you click TID SID. Then you click the Gen 3 RS tab. Check this PID box. And then paste. And then hit search. And if nothing pops up, you could either increase the frame range or you could try a different PID. So I could go back into Egg. Copy the next PID down. Try it here. So as you can see on ID RNG. Uh, frame 9529, I would have this egg frame become shiny, the second egg frame on my listing. Uh, I don't want to explain how to RNG the trainer ID in this video, but again, I do have another video on how to RNG your trainer ID and secret ID, so I would highly recommend checking that out. Link will be in the description. So, back to egg. Um, if you don't want to RNG a trainer ID and a secret ID, uh, you, you don't want to replay the whole game, you don't want to do that stuff, uh, but you still want a shiny, you do have some options. So you're going to want to open star as shiny, uh, and you want to do star and square. That's the option you want. Uh, this is referring to how shinies are generated in uh, sword and shield. There's two different types. Square shinies are rarer. Uh, star shinies are more regular for the most part. Uh, and it's basically, if you trade a Pokemon into that game, it will have been determined if it was a star or a square shiny based on the previous games. Uh, so it just depends on which one you want. Squares are much rarer. You're probably not going to have them. I don't intend to trade this up, so I don't care. Because this difference doesn't affect it until it's traded to Sword and Shield. So hit Generate. As you can see, I have one result. One. If you didn't RNG your Trainer ID and Secret ID, and you were being this picky with the IVs, you'd probably get no results. So what you can do is either stop caring about Shininess, replay the game with the RNG, like I, uh, the Trainer ID, like I said, or you can start lowering some standards. You can lower the IVs of the least important stats to 25. Like I'm going to lower HP defense and special defense as a minimum of 25. As you can see, now I have a few more results to pick from. Uh, and you might have to keep doing that 
until you can find a result if you are dead set on having a shiny without restarting the game. Uh, but with all that said, we have my target. Now we have to go get the parents. So this is really easy to figure out. Um, I need a parent with maximum defense and special defense. And then parent B just needs to have maximum speed. And you can see that if I change the parents filter settings here. So parent A, who only needs to have defense and special defense perfect, I change every other stat to zero. And parent B, I change all of their stats to zero except speed. I hit generate. I still can get a 5 IV Grump Pig with very bad parents. So now we're going to move on to the wild RNG for the parents first. Okay, so the first thing is to find spoinks. Uh, you can do that by going to tools in Poke Finder, and there's a thing called the encounter lookup. Uh, so just select your game and select the Pokemon you want. Spoink. And hit find. And it will tell you where Spoink is. So the Jagged Pass. That's good to know. Um, so we'll go into Gen 3 Wild on Poke Finder. And we will select the correct profile. And then we're going to leave the method set to H1 and set it to Jagged Pass. Now I'm going to do a brief overview of how to do Wild RNG here. If you've never done it before, please check out my video on how to do wild RNG. It's a much more in-depth tutorial that I'm going to explain. But basically, for the method, leave it as H1 and location. Put the location that Pokefinder told you it was in. Then select the Pokemon you want. I want a Spoink. Uh, encounter is Grass. Initial advances and max advances are fine. The IVs, we're going to look for uh, a defense of 31 uh, and a special defense of 31. And I literally don't care about the other stats. Um... Everything else is fine. You don't need any other information. So, on frame... Oh, we actually need to see gender ratio. It's 50-50. Uh, okay, so we have a spoink, a male spoink on frame 6,377. Uh, Alright, excellent. So now let's go to the Jagged Pass. I will cut to me being there. Alright, so I've made it to Jagged Pass. I'm going to save my game here. Uh, another thing I need to mention is... Check this use delay box, and if you're uh, outdoors in the game, type 261. If you are in a cave, uh, type 268. Uh, and that is just to add account for the sweet scent uh, timing. So we are looking for frame 6116 now, because we accounted for this uh, 261 frames. Uh, and we are looking for an impish uh, spoink. So what we're going to do now is uncheck our... Uh, configurations here. We're going to make sure it's not just Spoink, and we're going to uncheck the IVs, and we're going to hit search again. And this will show every possible frame, so it'll be easy to figure out what we hit. So we're looking for one, a 6116 is what we're looking for. Alright, here is our target, and now we can see all of the potential Pokemon around it when we get close. Uh, now we're going to open up Eon Timer. You're gonna make you're gonna go into the settings cog on Eon Timer really quick, and the timer tab. Make sure that you have the console selected correctly. If you're on a GBA, which is a Game Boy Advanced, a Game Boy Advanced SP, a uh, Game Boy Player, or a Game Boy Micro, select GBA. And if you're on a Nintendo DS or a DS Lite, select NDS dash GBA. Okay. Uh, for the target frame, we're doing six one one six, and then we start Eon Timer. And we're going to soft reset when it counts down. Uh, oops. Hello. All right. And we're just going to get to the sweet scent menu as fast as possible. Lingering in the overworld can cause some irregular frame advancement, so we don't want that. And we hover over sweet scent. And when our first counter finishes, we are going to uh, use sweet scent. So when the timer finishes, I hit A. Uh, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. All right, so we call it normal. So this is why I use Master Balls uh, from a cloned copy of, you know, Emerald. Um, because it just speeds up this whole process a lot. All right. So we're going to check out our normal. It is a gentle nature and it is level 19. So we can use that information already to figure it out. 
So we select Numble in Pokefinder. We can see that it's in counter slots 1, 3, 0, 1, 3, 8, and 10. Uh, so 1, uh, it's gentle nature. So we see on 6111, there is a uh, slot 0, which is Numble, the correct level, uh, and the correct nature, and the correct gender. We could check the IVs if we really wanted to, but I feel confident about being on 6111, so we're going to do that. So in Eon Timer, type frame hit, and just put in whatever you hit. Hit update, and give it a go again. Right. And we just do the same thing again until we catch the accurate parent that we want. Speed it up again. Looking for a male spoink. Uh, we're also... That's the right level, so we might have gotten it. See so a male spoink. Level 20. Uh, it is the correct nature as well. Now, chances are we did catch the correct spoink, but it's always going to be safer, rather than sorry, uh, to check that it is, in fact, the right spoink. So what we can do is check its IVs. So we're going to go into Poke Finder. Close this. Uh, so go into the main window of Poke Finder. And click uh, Tools, and then click IV Calculator. So now we can type in the IVs of our, or the stats of our little uh, Spoink here. So Ruby, Spoink. Uh, it is Impish. 20 and here we go so just type in the stats that it has and hit find IVs so as you can see uh, defense can only be 30 or 31 and all the other stats line up really well in terms of the ranges that they give 20 to 24 20 to 24 30 to 31 0 to 4 this is our pig so we can save and now we just have to find a suitable uh, mother. So we're going to do the same thing we did last time. Change this so it's only spoink. We're going to set the speed to be only 31. And because last time we caught a... Um, last time we caught a male, we actually have to catch a female this time. So we're going to click that. And hit generate. Ooh, scroll down. Alright. Uh, you can't do these frames that are really low like this. Because it's just impossible for the game to hit them. Uh, I think I'll go with this 1644 frame. So we'll put that into Eon Timer. And we'll give it a go. Uh, and while we are counting down, we can undo all of the parameters that we've put in. So we can figure out what frames are around our Splink. So we're going for 1644. All right. So we're looking for a rash female spoink. We got him at shop. Let's see what we hit. Machop is a counter slot two, five, or seven. Uh, if this is a bold Machop, we were just one frame late. Yep, we are one frame late. So. Already right on target because of the previous calibration that we've done. Not even going to adjust when I'm only one frame late. Okay, um, this is probably it. It's a female spunk. I forget the level that we're supposed to have. Uh, level 18, so this is probably... Oh no, yeah, level 18, so this is probably spunk. If it's rash, it's probably a safe assumption. So let's see. Rash, okay. And again, just to double check, we should put the stats in the IV calculator. So level 18. 54, 18, 21, 34, 33, and 30. Find IVs. Speed 30 or 31. That's our girl. All right. Now we can go to the actual breeding setup. 
So for the actual breeding section, uh, we're going to go back to the egg part uh, Poke Finder, and we're going to look for our target. So our first target is 1494. That's going to be when we generate the egg. So I'm going to put that into Eon Timer. Now, uh, for our setup, we're first going to go into our bag and put on a Max Repel. This will cause us to count 250 steps. Then I'm going to save the game. Now we're going to deposit our parents in the order they need to go. So as you can see in Pokefinder, parent A is the one that needs to have 31 defense and special defense. So I'm going to put in the male Spoink first because that's what he has. Then the female uh, Spoink uh, is the second one. And now we just walk around until our repel runs out. Now an egg takes 255 steps to generate. So that repel will run out on step uh, step 250. And then we just have to count four more steps for ourselves. Turning does not count. So if you stand in place and go like that, it does not count. Speed this up. You technically, oh, here. so you technically don't have to do all the walking in the house. I just think it's safer. So now we take four more steps. One, two, three, four. I'll face this way and save the game. Now at this point, we just do the RNG just as though we did the wild RNG, except instead of using sweet scent or something like that, we are going to uh, take our final step as the timer finishes counting down. So we're going to soft reset when this finishes. Now, the downside to this is there's no actual way to know if you've hit your target held advance uh, without some difficulty, but it's not going to be a huge deal to figure out. Here we go. We took our final step. All right, the man has an egg for us, so what we do is uh, save in front of him. And then we're going to change our pickup advance to... 60-42. And we're going to do the same exact thing we just did. Oh, so just talk to him a bunch until he gives you the egg. And it's after the yes or no dialog box. This is the last uh, text box you want to be waiting on. It seems counterintuitive, but uh, this is it. All right. Uh, I always like to lower the volume here just to help me focus on the timer. And now we hatch the egg. Now, unlike in Emerald or 
uh, future games, there's no way to actually speed it up using a Pokemon with Flame Body or Magma Armor. So we just have to do this the old-fashioned way. All right, our egg is ready to hatch. All right, so now we have to figure out what Spoink we landed on. So in Gen 3 eggs, what we're going to do is we can leave the parents the same like this, even though we do pretty much know exactly what uh, 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 frames we hit. Actually, we should fully input their stats. The wild. So the mother is 27, 23, 24, 8, 23. We'll remove, we'll really quickly figure out the father is 22, 24, 31, 12, 31, 2. Uh, okay, so now for the baby, what we're going to do is go to the IV calculator. And we're going to start inputting stats here. So this is a spoink with a brave nature. It is level 5. Uh, and we'll input its stats. Now this is where the rare candies come in. We're going to click add row and then we're going to do level 6. And this is going to be really useful for figuring out potentially the exact stats of the spoink. Okay, so our IVs are pretty pretty solid now. So what we're going to do is go into the egg section and type the filters out for what the IVs of this Pokemon are. So its HP has to be 8. Attack is 0 to 4. Defense is 21 to 29. Special attack is 6 to 9. Special defense is 22 or 23, and it's 0 to 2. So it actually looks like it got the speed from the father. Uh, and we're going to undo the shiny only here, and we're going to do the nature to be brave, actually. All right. I'm actually going to copy that down somewhere else really quick. All right, and now we'll hit generate. So, it looks like, oh, what's the gender? Gender's male. You can set that in as well. Oop. All right. So, it looks like there's two options for what the pickup advances could be. We don't want that. So, we're going to keep doing the IVs until that goes away completely. So, we're going to add another row and do 12. Okay. So, the def Every, a lot of things are very well defined now. So defense is exactly 24. That is 0 to 2. This is 8 or 9. And this is 23. And it's known. So now we generate again. Oh. Oh, this is 8 or 9. Not 9, 9. <laughs> oh, really? I guess this probably has to be 8 then. If I were to guess. Uh, because the what we want to eliminate here is one of the pickup advances. Um, because we need to be 100% certain which pickup advance we land on. So I guess we're not fully done yet. Okay, so I couldn't figure out its IVs 100% because I didn't have enough rare candies. But what I was able to do uh, was learn its exact hidden power by teaching it hidden power uh, and the only two options i had were fire or steel uh so i aimed for uh hidden power fire or i like used it and then it had hidden power fire when i used it on a bug type and so i hit generate and now the only hidden powers here are fire and so now i can deduce what exactly the frame that i hit was so if we take a look I was aiming for uh, 6042 for held, or for pickup, and I was aiming for uh, 1494 for held. So there's actually technically, as you can see for pickup, I hit 650. That's no if ands, or buts about it. For held, there's technically no way to know exactly what you hit. 
because multiple different held frames can yield uh, a similar results. And so since there's no way to know, your best bet is to just assume you got pretty close. Um, 1510 is the closest one that I got, and 650 is the only one that I got. So what we'll do in Eon Timer is put um, uh, 1494. Uh, as my target frame again and type in that I hit 1510 and hit update and it'll switch the calibration for me and then we're just going to try again and soft reset so we're going to reject the egg from this guy because we know we didn't get the correct health frame and then we're going to take our guys back And we're going to redo the entire process that we just did. So we're going to put it on our max repel. And put our spoinks in. It has to be male first. One, two, three. And save. So now we give the held frame another go. The guy didn't have an egg, so we just do another redo on that one. That means we hit a frame. Uh, that means we hit a frame where there is no egg generated. All right, we have an egg. So we save and we go for our 60 42 frame. Now, I'm going to change the calibration back to what it was before uh, 84 and. 6042, and I know for a fact that I hit 650 last time, so I'll hit update. Yeah, so that's totally different, as you can see. Uh, so my calibration for... Goodness. So I've got my calibrations written down, and uh, we're going to reset. And now we hatch. All right, eggs hatching. Right, let's see what we got. It's female and it's gentle. So, first thing we can do is set those in this. And what's abilities I have? It has thick fat. Zero. It's female. So we're gonna have a lot of those probably. Ooh. It could be other one. So we will continue. Uh, let's clear the rows. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Uh, gentle. And let's see. 1, 8, 9, 12, 15, 12. So, as you can see, the IV spreads are pretty big, uh, but there are some very useful things here. So, we're going to just give it a whirl with the IVs that we got from this to see if it's good enough, because there are a bunch of 30, or 20 to 30 ones and 30 to 30 ones, which are, like, really good. Um, it's really useful, so we'll hit find. There is still a chance we hit uh, 1497. Uh, so we're going to have to... I think this is probably uh, pretty likely what we hit, 1494, and then one frame early on this. But it's worth it to do a little bit of snooping and figure it out by using the rare candies. So we do that. All right. So we definitely hit uh, Pickup Advance 6041, which is really good to know. This... Again, it's harder to know, but I would wager we're on frame for our held advances. It's I'd be, uh, and I'll lower this actually to fourteen hundred because I restrict the range a bit. I would be pretty shocked if we hit anything other than fourteen ninety four. Um, we could have hit fourteen seventy two, 
but there's no way to be 100% sure. So we're just going to give, and you know, because you could see all the IVs are the same at this point. Like literally these are all the exact same, uh, uh, <laughs> pig. Like they're all going to have an HP of three, uh, stuff like that. So it's just best to give the, uh, pickup frame another go. And remember, it's the last dialogue box that take good care of it. On to hatching. That's all we can do. All right. Nope. We got a shiny. All right. That is good news. So it is also the correct nature. Let's put the IV or the stats into uh, Pokefinders IV calc really quick. Uh, we probably don't even need to check. It's almost certain that this is going to be the one. Uh, right, wrong nature. So as you can see, the IVs are all 20 to 31 or higher. <laughs> um, and it's the correct nature. Uh and we could put in this range as well. We could put in these ranges. And I will probably get some uh, potential matches. But I would be unlikely that it is this. So 31. It is female. It has the correct ability. Slick fat. Uh, it is shiny. And it is modest. So this is the only possible result. So there it is. A 5 IV uh, shiny spoink with a modest nature uh, done through RNG manipulation breeding. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you all, and I will see you guys uh, next time.